Hey everybody, I got this really nice tent from REI. It's a snow peak. Uh, thing is awesome. So, got a killer deal on it because the zippers are broken. But for $10, $15 on Amazon, got this little fix and zip. So that saved a couple hundred dollars on the tent and spent 10 bucks fixing it. So it's better for the environment, right? You don't have to make another product. This tent is really awesome, actually, when it gets put together. But I'm going to just go through and see if I can figure out these instructions live. haven't even messed with it yet. So step one, we're going to make sure the screw is outside. So, so this is going to point to the outside. There's that little screw there. And this is the large that I figured that would be what I need for this tent. How you can find out, they have a sizing guide. And then... You kind of find where there's supposed to be a number here. Like right there, it's filled up with uh, whatever uh, they painted this thing with at the factory. I think it says eight here, and that's why I got a large. And I looked it up on Google too to figure out about what it is. Okay, so have it to the outside. It says step two loosen the screw. Okay, let's loosen it. Slip the slider over one row of zipper teeth. Okay. And then place the slider close to the zipper. Tighten the screw all the way down. Okay. And then it says slider should be secured. Okay, that's how you do that type of zipper. Okay. Well, so the zipper that I got here, there is no slider. So I kind of have to do both of them at the same time. Um, what I want to do, this is going to be kind of like my backdrop here. So I'm going to have one of these all the way there. And really what I'm going to do here, and I might have to, might have to drop it to get it on. Really what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen it up and try to put both in at the same time. Now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to pull these two sides together, right? And then once they're together, you might need somebody to help you maybe. Uh, then you can tighten this up and then you should just be able to zip uh, right away. So um, I'm going to see if I can just pause this video and see if I can get this on here. Alright, so I was able to get it on. I got it on both sides there. Okay, I don't know if I did it correctly yet, because I had to kind of do it fast. Alright, loosen a quarter turn. Alright, feed. Oh, okay. This is what I was supposed to do here. <laughs> Didn't read the instructions. So that's for a jacket. Now this is zipped closed end zippers. So... That's what I got here, essentially. All the way down, squeeze the top and the bottom slider at the same time with your other hand from the grasp of the zipper box. Da -da -da -da. Water tight, now this is, yeah, I got a water tight zipper. Use the slot on the other side. All right, well, let's see if it works. All right, I got it pretty much tight. I don't know if it's gonna work. This could be my air. So there you go. So how do I? So I just keep tightening, tightening it, and then I want it to. Oh, okay. So I have to get this thing. See if I can get it tighter now. Let's see, a little more tight. This is tighter, dude. All right, let's try it again. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see right there. I'm going to try to put it on the other side of this thing because this has a little bit more uh, 
pull down onto it and then if I can get this thing in there, then we should be square. All right, so I think I did everything right. It's tight. It is kind of pulling it together. It is functioning in that way. But I think this zipper is too big, so I might need to go get a different one. Yeah, I'm not really excited about it. This thing don't work for some reason. So yeah, I'm going to try a different size. All the instructions. Looks like the zipper is too big. See that? So that should be pulling it together. Uh, but it needs to be like a medium instead of a large. <laughs> 